We got your early Gatorade. We got your later not quite Gatorade. And then we've got your definitely not Kool-Aid. <laughs> Hey everybody, Adam Savage in the deep back stacks of Earl Hayes in Los Angeles. Uh, for the uninitiated, Earl Hayes has been making printed material for the movies since the movies. Seriously, they've been here in Los Angeles since 1915, making all the ephemera, business cards to cop logos, to uh, money, to stamps, to cigar wrappers and everything. And I'm back here looking at I really, just opening every box I can find because it's totally incredible. And I found this box of old battery labels. Uh, there is a incredibly beautiful Burgess dry cell label over here. And then, oh, a little Rayovac battery winder. Um, this is beautiful. And then I found this in the same box, which is Curtis Cement, uh, Tester Cement. And I was thinking about making a joke about huffing glue uh, when... I sort of zoomed out and realized I was looking at two shelves full of nothing but um, uh, gun cartridge cases. And then I felt like I was home. So I thought I would show you some of these. Come on over. Oh, wait. Here we go. This is the kind of bread and butter, right? Die cut out with folds. You can put this together. And this was for making, uh, yeah, sure shot shells. We've got... Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's other boxes. Here we go. And I don't know if these are actual brands or slight modifications of brands. Uh, all right, let's... Um, the one comment that everyone had last time I was in the back stacks is that I didn't spend enough time going through stuff. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, and all sorts of different colors. Winchester rifle. There's this color. Oh, no, this is totally different. I love the idea, and this is entirely possible that it happens this way, that like an art director comes in here and sees something like this and like where, you know, most of us would be like, oh, that's perfect. He or she might be like, actually, I need it to look like this. And, you know, you and me, might not notice the difference between these two things, but to a specific production designer or art director for the film that they're working on, that might be a mission critical sort of change. You never know. This looks like they were wrapped around a box. Um, I'm just really grooving also on the color of the paper. It, good color, good vintage feeling color on paper is non-trivial. And I've spent a lot of time at Kelly Paper in San Francisco, like, through, coming through their aisles looking for good colors. Okay, so here's more of these Winchester. Take a memo. All right, moving on. Oh, oh, no, no, this is not, <laughs> this is pure lard. I just reached all the way through. As someone who has replicated lots and lots of paper props, I have my favorite papers and I end up doing a lot on similar, self-similar papers, and there is none of that resting on the laurels here. Like every time I open a different box, the, the paper choices are radically different. There are all sorts of different weights. There are all sorts of different stickies. It's just, everything feels original to itself. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, in my searches yesterday, I think I found a second. Oh, so that one goes here. I'm literally making sure it goes back in the order in which I removed it. There we go. And I don't think I missed anything over here in the cartridges and well, that's crayons uh, yeah okay i think i found this other part of the stacks in which there are more of these and i just for comprehend for being comprehensive i just want to go check them out yeah we found it um in addition to some more beautiful cartridge boxes like this oh yeah 
In addition to that, Hercules powder. I'm sorry, I have to look up something called Hercules powder. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, pay dirt. Hercules powder dynamite. High explosives. Dangerous. I found my aisle. I found it. Um, so we have... <laughs> yes, dynamite. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. These are dynamite wrappers. This is the brown paper for wrapping dynamite. There you go. Special gelatin. Wow. That's great. All your sticks of dynamite needs. Um, and I was actually safe here. Here we go. C3, C4. Yes. Yes, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. There is just, um, I want to try and get the, uh, the way in which the printing uh, reflects the light. There's just an aspect to the kind of look here. The vintage paper and the specific way printing bleeds that there just isn't any way to do it but the right way. You can do this with offset printing. It has a look and it has a feel and there's just no other way to get it but by doing it with the real printer. That color, I can't even tell you how gorgeous that color is in person. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to keep on. We can keep on looking through here. We got shotgun shells. No, that looks like that's from another. Oh, there's a box that's been pushed back here we could discover something. Also, in the same aisle are nothing but the most endless array of the gorgeous food labels. Um, but that's for another time. Oh, man. All right, what is this? Oh, more C4. More C4. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. I just, every time I start opening boxes, I just start imagining the joy of a prop master. <laughs> finding this place and being like, oh yeah, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> A particular joy this place knows well. Um, yeah, that's really neat. All right, so now I'll turn that label this way and that can go with the other C4. So those are together. Those are food labels. Ooh, danger, more dynamite. Here we go, more dynamite. Yeah. More shotgun shells. Rifle cartridges. Yes. <laughs> shotgun shells. Oh, I see. That went in here, but there's... Okay. And maybe that box goes there, and then we know that those are in there. Oh, plastic explosives. Yes, there we go. Great font. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then what I noticed, and then, no, and then, and then there's this entire sort of miscellany. So in addition to some beautiful Ampex labels, holy hell, um, here we've got all sorts of shotgun shell labels, of many different kinds, shotgun shell boxes. This is clearly where uh, they have outfitted endless numbers. Oh, oh what you bought? <laughs> endless numbers of uh, boxes and cartridges, specifically, it looks like for, yeah, all four. Um, bang. All four uh, 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 shells and cartridges of some kinds. Winchester model, we saw that over there. I um in replicating Major Kong's survival pack from Dr. Strangelove, I um I replicated the cartridge cases three separate times because I kept on getting better reference and I kept on finding better ways to make them. But I also have a stack of open 
unbuilt boxes in my cave. Oh man. And then, oh, and then, yeah, we're back to the food labels. Oh no, these are paint labels. Oh wow, these are, it's actually spray paint labels. That's what's going on here. Paint thinner, turpentine, thinner. Um, I cannot get enough of these color palettes. And I know we've traveled far afield <laughs> from shotgun shells and dynamite powder, but I think, I think we'll pause this here because if I'm going off on random tangents, we'll never get out. Thank you guys for joining me in the back stacks of Earl Hayes. Hamburgers, Burger Haven. All right, I'm gonna keep on looking. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. I cannot tell you how much fun we had filming it. I wanna take a moment to thank Michael Corey, Props to History, and specifically Earl Hayes Press for their incredible generosity of the time and energy they have given us to let us follow along as they unpack and reveal the incredible history in this and all of their other buildings. And if you have been watching any of these Earl Hayes videos and content and wondering to yourself, how do I add any of that incredible history to my prop collection? You are in luck because Earl Hayes has started to make parts of their incredible collection available to the public. If you've ever wanted your own package of Smeet, well, you can follow the link in the description below and go buy it. This is just one of many things available and more will become available as time continues. Thanks again to Michael and Earl Hayes. See you guys later.